Hello, in this video, we'll be looking at measures of positions. We've looked at measures of central tendency, mean, median, mode, mid range, and measures of variation, which is range, vari variance, and standard deviation. So, but there, is, uh, there are more measures of position which identify the location of a, a number or a data value in a data set. So some of the measures of positions are standard score or z-score as we usually call it, percentiles, deciles, and quartiles. Okay, in this video, we are going to look specifically how to calculate the standard scores or z-score and the percentiles. All right. Um, standard scores helps us compare they help us compare um, numbers position how well uh, you know people do in a, a test so it represents the number of standard deviation a data value falls above or below the mean okay, for a specific distribution so if the z-score is positive, then the score is above the mean. If the score is negative, the score is below the mean. If the z-score is zero, then the score is the same as the mean. And to calculate the z-score, we just take the value, subtract it from the mean. So we are finding, you know, how is it from the mean? And then we compare it to the standard deviation. So we divide it by the standard deviation. Okay, if it's for example, we use the sample formula for mean and standard deviation. If it is for a population, we use the mean for the population and the standard deviation for the population. Okay, so let's look at a problem. Example one, Brady scored 38 on a history test and that had a mean of 40 and a standardized deviation, standard deviation of 5. He scored 94 on a statistics test with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10. Compare Brady's relative positions on the test. Okay, so we don't really know because I mean that. A test can be easy or it can be hard or it can be so regardless of if it has like 38 but we don't know what other people got on the test and we don't know if he's the highest score or the lowest or somewhere in the middle so so we need to calculate the z-score based on the mean and the standard deviation okay so let's use the formula and do that okay first of all we need the data the value and then we need the mean and then we need the standard deviation so let's write them out what we need so our x so let's have to identify um we're going to do uh let's do this one at the time we're going to do each subject separately so um for history For history, the X is the raw score, which is 38, and then the mean is 40, and the standard deviation is 5. So, and then we plug it into the equation. Plug this into the equation. So the z for that is going to be 38 minus 40 divided by 5, okay, which gives us um, that will be minus. Uh, 0 0.4 okay that's for that 
then we do the same for start for statistics okay so let's go back and see the raw score he got 90 set 94 so 94 minus the mean the mean is 100 over the standard deviation is 10. Okay, so the z score is oh. then it's going to be negative. Negative 0.6. Right, and then we compare the two numbers. Both of them are negative. So the smaller negative is actually bigger in value. So see, although Brady got 38 in this history test, he actually did better to compare with the 94 he'd got in statistics. Probably the test was very easy in the statistics and a lot of everybody, the majority of the people got 100. So maybe he might be the only one who got 94, not like idea. So, but we look at the number, we say, oh, that's, you know, we can make the mistake and say he did better in statistics, but relatively he did better in history. All right, the next is percentile. Percentiles are not the same as percentages that we are used to. So keep that straight for example if you get like 74 percent it is based on 100 percent that's the raw score but percentile is i mean having 74 percent doesn't tell us the position this student is whether that 74 percent could be the highest or the lowest or somewhere in between so percentile tells us the position of the person so you have to find what this raw score is in the percentile to, to know how well the, the student did to compare with the rest of the class. Okay. Right. Percentiles are symbolized by P1, P2, P3. They divide the distribution into 100 equal groups. And we can make percentile graphs by using cumulative frequency. Okay. You know, if we can change all the number to cumulative frequency, it is very similar to the cumulative frequency graph, except a uh, relative frequency graph, except that here, instead of using decimal, we use percent. We That's why we multiply it by 100 to change it to percent. But we are not going to do that here. We're just going to learn how to convert any given raw data to percentile. Okay. So just use this formula, find how many numbers that are below the given value and then add 0.5 to it, divide by the total number of values. And then we multiply by 100 to make it, to convert it to percent. So let's look at the problem. A teacher gives a 20 point test to 10 students. The, the scores are this. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then find the percentile rank of score 12 and score of 6. So students, a student who got 12 score, well, how, how much did he do to compare with the rest of the class? So first of all, arrange the number in order from least to greatest. Whenever we are doing most of the time, when we are looking for measures of uh, position, it's always helpful to arrange the number in order from uh, least to greatest okay so now we are looking for for the score of 12 after we arrange a score of 12 is right here so how many numbers are below 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 so So the percentile is going to be the number. There are six values that are below, below 12. 12 is our x. So we add 0 0.5 to it. And then divide by total number of value. There are 10 numbers there. Okay. 
and that will give us what oh that would be six this will be 6.5 divided by six and then of course we multiply by 100 percent okay so that will give us like 65 percent so it means that the person who scored 12 did better than 65 percent of the class he, he did better than 65 percent of the class okay how about for six the person who scored six okay we look at six how many numbers are below six one two three so there are three numbers below six so we do three plus 0 0.5 divided by 10 and then times 100 to convert it to percent again if we compute that this is 3.5 divided by 0 we give us 0.35 times 100 we give us 35 so the person who scored 6 did better than 35 percent of the class all right just for knowledge sake you know know that their size divide distribution in 10 groups see deci deci quarter I four you divide this one into four groups and these are the symbols for their size but in terms of percentile they correspond deci one corresponds to 10 deci two corresponds to 20 and so forth and then quarter I Quarter I one corresponds to twenty five percent. Percentile quarter I two corresponds to fifty. Quarter I three corresponds to seventy five. Okay, so the median is the same thing as percentile fifty or quarter I two. They are in the middle. Okay, so they are equivalent for that. So one thing, um, so we're not going to do that. Okay, in the summary that z score identify their symbols and this side that their positions z score is something as standard I standard score and uh, percent I have the value in hundreds this size 10 quarter I, um, four now remember that an outlier is an extremely high or extremely low data 